What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a monster verse one. We have Rodan versus Ghidorah. I've done, I think, Godzilla versus Ghidorah. And have I done? Don't think I've done Ghidorah versus anyone else. I can't remember. <clears throat> but anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we have Rodan down here, sort of his head down here, right? Ghidorah's three heads sort of coming down here. Similar position to the video I have with Godzilla versus Ghidorah. So you have the three heads just down here. And Rodan kind of down here going towards the second head. Okay, and a big wing kind of coming up here. <clears throat> so we'll start with Rodan. Sorry for coughing. I still haven't gotten used to like not coughing and sniffling and stuff into the microphone. It's very unprofessional. But hey, we'll get better. We'll get better. Okay, so Rodan, use a pencil and eraser definitely and hit pause if I go too fast right so I guess we'll start kind of with the, the eyebrow sort of shape his sort of big frowning kind of head right so just down here center point my page is about there just come down over to the right so the head is lower than it's below the halfway line Rodan's head we'll just start with this big frowning sort of tick line that goes this way Do, 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 and it kind of goes up here. And he has like these little spikes on the end, right? So like, you need a couple of them. You don't have to do too many. And then this will come down towards his head down here, right? And you can add textures and wrinkles and all this kind of stuff down here. So like, you know, these sort of wrinkly lines and stuff like that down there. So then underneath there, we've got his eye, right? So it's like right underneath, just down here. And it's like, it's a circular eye. So it's real round. Like that. And his pupils round as well, I think. Let me just put it sort of here black sort of dot looking that way right and then around his eyes we've got like all these texture lines and eye lines and stuff coming around his eye like this all these sort of wrinkles and things I'm going back this way right just around his eye like that so then we'll keep going, right? So we've got like the other sort of front of his beak kind of area. There's all more wrinkles and stuff here. Down like so. And then the front of his beak kind of comes out long and down. Right? It kind of looks like an eagle or something. Right, and then, so his beak's real sharp. Comes down this way, and it has like razor-like areas, and then kind of more spikes for teeth and stuff. You can do kind of as much of this as you want. And this'll go all the way back towards the go under his eye back down to there right so that's like the top of his mouth and then we may have like some texture lines and stuff on his beak lines coming up his face you know dots and things around his eye and stuff no nostril that i can see which is weird does he have a nostril? Hmm. No, I don't think so. I don't see a nostril anyway. Okay. So, <clears throat> keep adding texture to his head, right? So this comes back and becomes kind of these spikes on the back of his head, right? So like, 
real big sort of like a spike like this and then it like curves around it goes wrong back here and then this will go around back up to the top and then you join his head just up here and again this can have like texture on it as much as you want really That and then like one more kind of sticking out the other side, I think, coming out from the back of his head. So there's there's a little bit like a bit of a spike here. It looks like kind of comes down there, and then another smaller one on the other side of his head here. So this spike is like on the back of his neck. Like so. So that's like the top part of his skull, right? And then we'll go down for his bottom jaw. So this comes down this way. And then somewhere down here, we start adding spiky teeth. Down here, and it comes to like a real spiky one just there. And then this will go around and it'll join somewhere close to his neck line up here so it'll go up this way like somewhere at the back we'll add some like spikes and stuff like that and then more sort of texture and skin lines and stuff That. and then so the side of his mouth so we've got that sort of skin flap that kind of holds their jaws together you know these reptiles they have these sort of skin lines like that and then his tongue comes out here real curvy goes back down behind his teeth and comes back in there it might be Maybe a line coming down the side of it, or like so, and then another skin line here. But we can see like the underneath of his jaw here, so kind of like some teeth on the other side, like so, and then that skin flap just on the other side. Maybe we should see some teeth on the other side here as well, just kind of sticking up like that. Right, so his neck, so real sort of bumpy armor, right? He's, he's got armor sort of all over, so like lots of texture lines and stuff like that. So, so we'll bring this just across this way. Bumping every now and then, like coming up here, and then the top of his neck, up this side, like spiking, kind of armor lines. And then this armor for his neck kind of comes down to here. Right, and then his chest comes down this way again, kind of spiking chest plates and armor coming down around here, right? So his wing then goes up behind these horns, comes out this side, kind of goes off this way, right? And it goes, this will eventually, I think, go behind. Gidora's head, right? So 
kind of like stops. We'll just stop it sort of here and we can fill in the gaps after we do some Ghidorah because there's a head here. So we don't want to sort of draw over that and then have to erase it and all that kind of stuff. So then, so his shoulder line kind of here and then more sort of neck going this way. I think. Going into another shoulder going here. But we got like shoulder line sort of again bumping. Going off that way. And then his other shoulder sort of here. So we're coming around this. Right, like so. And so we'll add like texture and stuff like this all here, right? So you just add like this plate of armor going around his neck, right? So like this kind of stuff, like a big one here. And these will all have kind of texture lines on them as well. adding this all the way down and I'm kind of just making it up I'm not I'm just getting the general shape for them I'm not worrying too much about their accuracy to the picture or anything I'm just sort of adding them as I see fit Right, kind of like that, and then you can add like texture all on them as much as you want. that and then we do sort of the same thing here on his chest so this sort of armor again kind of climbs up around here wraps around his chest adding texture and things as we go. Spiking sort of armor lines. And you kind of just keep building it up. Right, like that. So then, <clears throat> so we'll have like some various bumps just for his back and things just going this way. But this is mostly wing, so it like starts to have lines that go 
Turn it that way. Moving off different directions up this way. Like that, and then more place armor on his shoulder. Uh, and then we'll go up his arm as well. So go all up his arm. And just adding texture to the scales all the way up. Like so, and then going down his wings as well. So you add like all this kind of in between. So just adding some darker lines now. <clears throat> just along to make some of the, like his arms stand out and stuff. Adding a little extra line weight can make the texture lines just appear smaller. can add some shadow to these bigger lines. And this is an optional step, of course. I think that's enough. You could do more, um, but we'll go over it because we got to do three more heads over this side with Ghidorah. So let's crack on with that. Okay. Right. So I guess we'll start with the top head just up here, right? So again, we'll start with this sort of frowning eye that he has that sort of joins a horn right so it goes 
we've got a curving line just starting here, right? So again, it's right underneath the edge of Rodan's wing. He's kind of looking down at him here. So this will go back this way. It'll probably go off the top of my page. Yeah, real big horn going back that way. And then here as well. Like so. And it also has a sort of a line going up the middle of it. Like so. And there's all texture on it and stuff, but we get kind of his eye in first. So underneath we've got a sort of a shadowy section. Just here, kind of underneath that horn. And then in here we have his eye. So again, you do that shape sort of again. Like so. And then we'll give him sort of cat-like, you know, eyes. Sort of thin. He's kind of looking down this way. So then he has, seems like, like a spiking sort of, you know, like one of those table saws. You know, those saws that are like on, come up from your table and it's a wheel that spins. Kind of looks like that. This sort of spiking behind his, the horn there. Like so. And then we have another horn going back off the top of my page that way. So that's where like Rodan's hand kind of finishes, right? So we'll just like bring it sort of like his thumb just in there. And then it comes around. Like that, right? And you can have more texture and stuff on his hand there. You want. Right, so then we have another sort of frown along here. And then his snout comes out the front here, right? Comes out from this sort of frowning kind of area. So it bumps out. Down, sticks up where his nose is. And then it'll go down the front. Just there. So like typical sort of dragon sort of shape on their faces. So it like comes across this way. It comes down to his mouth there. <clears throat> and like same as Rodan, you know, you can add um, like texture around the eyes and things. Like sort of snarling kind of cheek area. And this becomes another sort of horn that goes back up this way. that and then it kind of comes out sort of here it goes just up off my page there so he has these, these like three big horns here and then three small ones coming off his bottom jaw so I guess we'll add we'll sort of just add the texture on these just to make them a bit more clear and add some texture here as well he's got a nostril here just there. And then, you know, lots of texture, skin lines and stuff like this, like all these wrinkles on his face and this gum line. Like that, and then like some lines on the horn on his head. So this kind of stuff. Diagonal lines this way and then the diagonal lines kind of on the other side will go like a different direction so they'll go like down this way just gives it more of a 3d look So, and then let's put that to there. And we have a similar sort of situation with the texture lines. And 
same on this one. Right, so then his bottom jaw, right? So it'll go, let's say, go down this way, right from here. So it comes around there like that, and then we got his chin. Comes around here, and then goes up this way. And then we can see this sort of skin line inside his jaw like Rodan, like that. And then there's like a tongue and teeth and stuff. So let's see, can you see his tongue? Yeah, so you can see teeth first, I guess. So teeth here, spiking. that and then his tongue kind of comes out this way down to the bottom of his mouth there there's like texture lines on it maybe the bottom of it just there on the other side and maybe some like teeth sticking out the other side here of his tongue Like so, and his gum lie on the other side. Right, and then <clears throat> more sort of texture lines here. Like so, oh yeah, and teeth on top. I nearly forgot teeth on top. So, right, so then back here, right, so we start to see these sorts of spiking jaw lines, right? So these kind of things. Kind of growing out from his face. Just there, and there's like a couple You can add kind of as much of this as you want now. You can cover the whole side of his face or you can just add enough to sort of give people the impression, you know, kind of like that. And then we have, so three big horns here and then three small ones coming out of the side of his face. So like here, one, two, Three. And then we'll add the texture on them like we did the top ones. and things if you want as much as you want like that so his neck then so this guy we can see most of his neck so it comes sort of out down this way and it, this goes all the way down to the other Ghidorah head and the top of the neck will go 
down there. And then we have a center line with, so we've got like, so there's all this armor, right? So it like comes down this way. Down here. Right, and then these are all armor plates. keep kind of going we just keep building this and we eventually will hit sort of another Ghidorah head here somewhere so there's like another sort of skin line or something coming up his body here and then we have some spikes coming back along the top of his head like here They're not all the same shape. Okay, one down, two more to go. So do the same thing down here. We start with his frowning head with a horn sort of coming out of this, right? And this goes along, back to there. We'll kind of kick on now. We'll kind of go a little bit faster just so the video isn't like crazy long. So we'll start with that horn and then we'll add same thing like a shadow underneath his eye. Curved line down there and then his eye itself there and we're going to have it sort of looking at him here so kind of like that and then we'll add some wrinkles around his eye like so and spiking was sort of hair there and then we got like another frown on the other side of his head and then his nose comes out this way around like so and here and like so and wrinkles and all that good stuff 
on the side of his head as well. So like on the side of the horn, you know, all these lines. So, right, so I think on this one we could see like the edge of his mouth, kind of the underneath of his mouth there. And then his bottom jaw, so it comes down this way. Same sort of thing again, then we'll add, we'll add teeth and stuff. So his chin comes back like so up to here and again you could start adding sort of spikes and things but we'll, we'll do the teeth first so we can see like his skin line on the side of his jaw and then like teeth coming tongue down towards his teeth there real long tongue and you can see some teeth on the other side of that and a skin line on the other side of his mouth somewhere so like here and then we have teeth on the top on the other side of his mouth here and then on the top side like so right and then we'll add like some of these spikes and stuff coming up here So like this, these are small now, quite small. Like so, and then And there's like there's a big horn here so coming back this way and then into the side of his head there and we'll add another line like so and then we'll add some like texture lines on them And then we have the three small ones here, like this guy. So, so like here, and then another one here, and then another one there. Like so. Right, and then this guy's neck comes down behind this neck there, and the top of it is just like underneath, like a spike or something there. And then we'll add the armor plating 
line just coming down this way. There, and maybe like another layer, sort of there. Um, like some wrinkles or like scales and stuff on him. Right, two heads down. Let's go. So the Alaska is like looking up here. His snout like nearly touches this guy's snout. So we're gonna go frown line again. So this way, and then becomes large horn back there. And then this comes down this way, around to there. So real long line down the middle there, and then we have his eye area. So this dark sort of shadow underneath the frown here, just there. And then this guy, we can see like a little bit more of his eye. So, but we'll just kind of do the same. So we'll just. Let's see. What can we see of it? Let's just go here. And then his eye, we want him to be kind of looking that direction. So we'll put it kind of on top, just there. Right? And then like wrinkles around. Like so. And then some texture lines on the horn and like wrinkles and scaly lines like that right and then his snout comes out here down little sort of square one So like the corner of his mouth and then we got like a nostril here like so so hit pause now if i'm going too fast i just don't i'm conscious of the time i know it'll be like maybe an hour long video anyway but i don't want to make it too much longer than that so just adding all those wrinkles there and then we have that buzz saw sort of hair just there at the back and then we got another horn going that way and then it comes back down in behind this one and then add a texture line That. Right, and then a third one kind of here. This is the third big horn. Now, how far? We'll go further. So that's one. We should have one on the other side there, I think. Can't really see it. No, you can't see it. Okay, sorry, talking to myself. So one, two, and then a third. This goes in. Underneath his eye there. And then the line in the middle. And that and then his bottom jaw which goes down oh, I think my sharpie's wasting which will go down this way kind of around into there and then comes down for his chin which I think has a little spike on it I'm not sure I think it does so we'll give him one and then this will go up around this way. 
we start adding some of those spikes on the jaw as well, but we'll just do teeth and stuff first. All right, so he's got that um, kind of line just here. And then teeth. Just there, and then his tongue, kind of the same as the other guy's tongue, just comes down here. And you should be able to see some teeth along the outside. Just like a little bit. And then teeth on top. And then line there. And then we go adding spikes on his jawline. Just sort of arrows pointing sort of this way and then you add a line in the middle. And just an area that shows where it's like growing into his skin. Lots of texture and things. Right, and then couple of horns down here. We can only see two on this guy. I wonder if that's intentional or a mistake. So just one that goes down into the corner here. And then we will bring it back up. So like here, and then a smaller one just there. Back up to the jaw. And then we add the center line and the texture lines. I do drawing sound effects as well. If anyone would like to see more of that content, smash like. <laughs> douche, douche, boom, boom. All that kind of good, that good uh, drawing sound effects. Here's, here's another example. Douche, 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 Boom, 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 boom. I'm not concentrating. <clears throat> right, so then back of his head or neck goes that way. And then the underneath goes that way. And then we can see kind of that armor sort of area. here boom, boom. on his jaw right and that's so that's the back of his neck and then we should probably see some more kind of neck armor here and we can see a wing going up this way so we've got like a spike sticking off for the wing here and the wing goes back up around this guy's head up underneath here i think it comes out here somewhere so like texture and stuff on the wing like that and okay, so that's his neck and then this guy's neck coming down that way. Um, I think that's everything. So, and again, like there can be, you know, debris in the air, dots and and you can add lightning coming out of their mouths if they're shooting blasts and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I will in post. There you go. Ghidorah versus Rodan. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.